And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We've been split up, regardless of our colleges, forced into quarters so small that... This is not the Circle. You have been conscripted into the Inquisition, like any soldier. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. It never ends, evidently. You don't need to tell me that. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. Is it that bad? The mages are too accustomed to running or being kept prisoner. It's not easy for them. It's your doing, after all. You're the one who conscripted them. I had to think on my feet, and I did what I could. Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. <laughs> I am rather clever, aren't I? Close the breach. Then I'll agree with you. There was never going to be an easy answer to the mage dilemma. The mages are dangerous. There's no way around it. You chose for the good of us all. I can respect that. So... that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Um. Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. <laughs> I know, right? If I were a mage, I'd just throw fire at people. That's honest. Anyway... I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the fate? Dorian was sure. Impossible as it seems. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witnessed. I'm surprised you're not more interested in your own future. I know enough. If that future happened, then I, and Cassandra, Cullen and the rest, failed to stop this Elder One. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. Would you be more confident if I brought back Templars instead? I'd be less worried about the thin veil resulting in mass possession. The mages submitted to our authority. Their safety and our followers is my responsibility. I take it seriously. I recommend caution, that's all. The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. I'd like to keep hoping it's a coincidence, if you don't mind. I need to be able to sleep at night. Honestly, I, I think I'll give up sleeping for the foreseeable future. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But th that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? That's a good point. We should celebrate. A banquet? Something like a banquet? A word to Josephine, and I bet she could arrange anything. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. I'll 
Just be the other side of Haven. Just in case. You expected something else? We needed this. We needed? No, pretty sure that question was never passed my way. You know it too, that's why you're shoving them up towers after. That's good, right? Put a leash on the rebel mages, I see. Interesting how they seem to like the idea. As if it's a relief to be penned in again. I take it you don't agree? Not my place to disagree, is it? It just seems like you're repeating history. It all depends on what you do with these mages later. No guarantee you'll throw them back into circles again, I suppose. I mean, unless you're as thick as you seem. Which would be sad, really. Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. Not yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked... despondent. Broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew. So Fiona and her malcontents are finally under proper authority. That's an excellent beginning, my dear. We will have to discuss how to administrate this new asset. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. You have a low opinion of your fellow mages. It's not so much an opinion as grasping the obvious. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. I don't think the mages of the Imperium would agree with you. Drunkards rarely agree that they ought to stop drinking. I wouldn't use them as role models. Do you know how young mages are found? A little girl has a nightmare, and in her sleep, she burns her house down. A teenage boy has a fit, and lightning rips his mother to pieces. Imagine your own childhood, and what would have happened if the darkest corner of your heart had a will of its own. People don't learn the fear of magic at Chantry services, my dear. They learn it from us. Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Such twists and turns your mind takes. It's something to consider, my dear. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. Something must be done, immediately. Nothing will be done. Commander Cullen said the same thing. It's an outrage. There are mages here we know are guilty of heinous crimes. You would let that pass? Yes, as will you. We are not here to coddle the Order. You are an ally. Act like one. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. It never ends, evidently. You don't need to tell me that. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. Is it that bad? The Templars need to learn they have other uses than hunting mages. It's not easy for them. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. Well, I hope it works. What other choice do we have? Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. <laughs> I am rather clever, aren't I? Close the breach. 
Then I'll agree with you. Of all the things in the world, a demon who wears someone's face, I imagine it makes trusting others risky. Risk is what keeps life exciting, don't you think? Until you lose. It's easy to speak well of trust when yours has never been misplaced. Heard there was a big demon at the Seeker Fortress. Gotta say I don't mind missing that. Getting into your head, messing around. It's dead now. That's why I like you, boss. Always staying positive. Anyway, with the Templars on board, hopefully we can close that breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. So the Templars will put their powers to use, sealing the breach. Any group corrupted by a demon must be watched carefully. At least they know how to fight. We can't afford to be picky about our allies. Point taken. Just remember, an enemy can attack, but only an ally can betray you. Betrayal is always worse. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again with the Templars. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. Cold, or whatever you call yourself, may have helped at Theron, but that doesn't mean we should trust him. I thought we agreed Cole could stay. I did not agree. I was outvoted. I suppose my concerns can wait. We must focus on the breach. The Templars are making final preparations. After what happened with the Lord Seeker, they're eager to prove themselves. After what I went through to get them, they'd better be. What happened at Therenfall was appalling. To have a demon manipulate your mind. It takes a strong person to walk away from that. It's good to see you well. You took in the Tell Templars. Me I have some to you, you let them the stay fear. in strength, even after what they did. Their own people. It's dangerous when too many men in the same armor think they're right. You should prepare. It's already getting louder. What's going to be loud? I don't know, but there are echoes rushing back across us, ripples in a pond from a stone, but backward. But first, you seal it. I hope it hurts less. I'll help if I can, but I don't always say it right. You helped me at the Seeker Fortress. Say it however you like. I helped. It's good to hear. I will try. So, the Templars joined the Inquisition. Even with Cullen here, I never thought that would happen. Of course, after Kirkwall, I never thought anyone would use Red Lyrium on purpose, either. The Templars should know better than anyone what that shit does to people. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the Temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. The Inquisition has the numbers to track down all this lyrium and destroy it. I hope so. I don't want to think about what happens if it starts a plague. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? That's a good point. We should celebrate. A banquet? Something like a banquet? A word to Josephine, and I bet she could arrange anything. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Templars filling up the place. Best of the polished helms come to save us. Good partners, I suppose, if they decide to stay and do what they're told. Seem to have a problem with that. Whatever you think, they're the best hammer for this particular nail. Well, watch your thumbs, because a Templar might... might slip, or... You want about anything else? It is good that you salvaged as many Templars as you did, my dear. We will need every Templar, but they will require proper management. We also need to increase our Lyrium supplies considerably. 
The Chantry may still have stockpiles we can use. We likely need more than they have. Our enemies have magic that can rip open the Fade. Indeed. We may need Josephine to open negotiations with the Dwarves directly. The Breach has done more than disfigure the sky. The Veil itself is broken. All mages, no matter how skilled, are now in danger of drawing demons to them. Before this crisis is over, you may find that Templars, flawed as they may be, are all that stand between us and Chaos. It's a good idea to plan for trouble. I'm glad you understand. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. I don't think the mages of the Imperium would agree with you. Drunkards rarely agree that they ought to stop drinking. I wouldn't use them as role models. Do you know how young mages are found? A little girl has a nightmare, and in her sleep, she burns her house down. A teenage boy has a fit, and lightning rips his mother to pieces. Imagine your own childhood and what would have happened if the darkest corner of your heart had a will of its own. People don't learn the fear of magic at Chantry services, my dear. They learn it from us. Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? The Circle has to be restored if we want to keep the peace. That's comforting to hear, but you'll find opposition to the idea even among friends. It's something to consider, my dear.